Hello, my name is Dr. Sebastian Fedden. I'm a linguist working in the Surrey Morphology Group at the University of Surrey. I'm specialised in the languages of the Pacific, particularly the languages of New Guinea. In this video, we take a look at how the speakers of Mian, a language of Papua New Guinea, classify some objects of everyday life in their language. Mian is spoken by just 1,700 people in the highlands fringe of Papua New Guinea, and the language is severely endangered. These are the objects we're going to look at. This is a string bag. The Mian word is men. String bags are weaved by the women with a thread made from the bark of an indigenous tree. These bags serve many purposes in the community, for example to carry taro, a native root vegetable which people harvest in their gardens, or to carry firewood or even a sleeping baby. This is a machete. The Mian word is seku. Machetes are used for clearing the forest, gardening and cutting firewood. This is of course a modern tool. Traditionally people use stone tools for such jobs. And finally, this is a saucepan, for which the Mian speakers use the borrowed word saucepan. This might look like a regular saucepan. Well, that's exactly what they use for cooking nowadays. Now, how are these classified in the language? Mian has a gender system. You might know this from languages like French, which has masculine and feminine genders, or German, which has masculine, feminine and neuter genders. Mian also has masculine, feminine and neuter genders, but unlike German, where many inanimates without biological sex are either masculine or feminine, in Mian things are a bit more transparent. All males are masculine, all females are feminine and all inanimates are neuter. This does not sound too complicated. Machetes, string bags and saucepans are inanimates, so they are all neuter in Mian. But apart from gender, there is a second classification system which makes different distinctions. For example, between whether something is a bag or something is long. Now we can further classify these objects. All string bags are classified as bags, regardless of whether they are large, like this one, or small, like this one which men wear around their neck for carrying tobacco and matches or a lighter. Machetes are long, together with arrows, vines, nails and pencils. Finally, the saucepan does not fit in any of these categories and therefore it goes in the residue category, together with stones, coconuts, taros, crumbs, most bones of the body and radios. When you talk about string bags, machetes or saucepans in Mian, you do not only have to know that they're neuter, you also have to know that they belong to the class of bags or long objects or to the residue class, respectively, because you need to express this with a prefix on the verb. So while English has a single verb, give, in Mian, the verb for give changes depending on whether a bag or a machete or a saucepan is given. Thank you for watching.